More than 30 years ago, when I was a brand new second lieutenant in the Missouri Army National Guard, I had a conversation with Colonel Calvin Broughton. It was about the four ways of getting things accomplished. Colonel Broughton pulled me into his office and grabbed a paper and a pen. He then drew a matrix consisting of two columns and two rows by drawing one big square with a line going right through the middle from top to bottom and another going through the middle from left to right to create four smaller squares. Colonel Broughton told me there was a wrong way to do things and a right way to do things. Then he labeled the first column wrong and the second column he labeled right. After that, he told me there were hard ways to do things and easy ways to do things. He then labeled the top row easy and the bottom row he labeled hard. The Colonel pointed out the box where the row he labeled as hard intersected with the column that he labeled as wrong. He told me to avoid spending my time there at all costs because there's usually tons of work there and in the end it isn't going to pay off. He also pointed at the box labeled easy and wrong. Now there's an upside to failing fast even though it still means failing. Then he pointed at the box labeled hard and right. That's a tough way to lead because it's resource intensive and it wears out your soldiers, even if you accomplish your mission, he said. Finally, Colonel Broughton pointed to the box where the row he labeled as easy intersected with the column he labeled as right. I smiled because I knew that that's where the Colonel wanted me to spend my time. As you explore the concepts in our book, Offer versus Ask, you'll soon realize that the offer, when done correctly, is the easy and right way to make rapid progress towards your goals. You're also likely to discover that the ask, when done correctly, is the hard and right way to make progress towards your goals. They both work. One is just way harder and takes longer than the other. But they are not mutually exclusive approaches. Ideally, you can and should use both. Instead of approaching donors looking to get something from them, what if you could approach them with an irresistible offer and give something valuable to, valuable to them instead? The offer versus ask strategies, tactics, and funding necessary to execute them all are available and detailed in my book, Offer versus Ask, the nonprofit executive secret playbook for growth and sustainability. And digital copies are available for free when you click on the nonprofit and association partners page at workforcealchemy.com. You're also invited to apply for acceptance into our nonprofit alliance in order to tap into all kinds of additional financial resources and support mechanisms that can be made available to your organization at no charge.